everyone and welcome back to The Sims 4 Problem Child. First of all guys, it is really, really windy today. The house is actually shaking and uh, the power went out a few times, so obviously that's not good. Um, so I waited a little bit, the power hasn't went out in a while, I'm gonna try and get this video done now. Really hoping the power doesn't go out while I'm recording, because if the power goes out when you're recording, you lose everything. So anyway guys, we're back again with little Bo Hobo and Jeremy, I think he's downstairs singing or something. You okay there, bud? No, he's he's using the bathroom. Okie dokie. And now, he's gonna go throw away some garbage. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. Now, I've been reading the comments, guys, on the last video, and uh, most of the top comments are uh, just out of context quotes from the video where I talked about sucking people. Uh, that's totally cool. There was also a couple comments like, what the he Hello? Excuse me. What are you, um, what are you doing? What, what, where, where are you going right now? I, I love that this still has not went away, guys. She still has that mark there. I guess she's just going for a jog. You know, I guess she's just over to the house. I mean, she didn't leave since the last video, I guess. But anyway, people told me that you can woohoo in a coffin. Now, I didn't. Look at this. Oh my god, you can try for a baby in a coffin if you want. How does that work? If you have, if you have a baby when you're a vampire, uh, does the baby end up being a vampire too? Hmm. Questions that we might be able to answer eventually. I don't want to. I don't want to go making any babies anytime soon, guys. I kind of got a toddler to look after. Okay. Another thing, guys. I now know that drinking people's blood does not bring your vampire energy back. So I'm gonna stop trying to do that. Okay. If I'm low on vampire energy, I'm gonna try hibernating. That works really well. Hibernating, sleeping, napping, all that stuff. It brings up your energy rather than your um. Well, I mean, yeah, it's technically energy uh, when you're a regular sim as well. But anyway, point is, I know that now. I'm not gonna kill myself anymore. I hope and I don't really know what we're doing today besides possibly woohooing in this uh, in this coffin I mean she just went for a jog give the woman a chance to go do her thing and stuff Okay, now one more thing you guys told me that Erica Ishikawa is the person who was in the raccoon suit in one of my previous videos There was a bunch of people in raccoon suits, but apparently one of those people was Erica and now I'm just really concerned guys I don't know much about this girl. Can we find out where she lives? If she even lives anywhere, I know that a lot of these like sims in the world don't actually have houses and things, but come on man, I gotta know more about this woman. How can I know more about you? How does that work? Well, I already got your personality, right? I know that much. Let me take a look at you. Hmm. Okay, so she's non-committal, she's neat, she's an insult. What does that even mean? We don't know what her career is, guys. We know her personality, we don't know her career. Why don't we wait for her to come back from her jog and then we'll ask her some questions, okay? Because clearly... Uh, clearly she's a bit of a strange person, you know, running around getting stabbed and not dying and all that good stuff. Now, people have told me the reason that happened was because she was off the lot. Kind of assume that, okay? But let's just assume that that's not the case. Let's assume that it's because she's amazing and the perfect woman for Jeremy. Yeah? Gotta, gotta make a story here, guys. Come on. Oh, Erica. You're just gonna keep on running around all day? That's cool. Let me speed this up because I'm getting kind of tough. Whoa, okay, what happened? I should really get going. It was really nice jogging around the neighborhood, uh, but I gotta go do other things, put on my raccoon suit, and who knows what, what else. I, I don't know, okay? I don't know what this woman does. I don't know her career. I just know she's an insider. Okay, Erica. Well, I mean, I know you said you're gonna leave, but what if I, uh, <laughs> what if I ask you to hang out instead? Okay, let me just hop off my TV. Wait a minute. You can't leave. I thought you were just going for a jog. You at least gotta come back to the house and say goodbye. You can't just put up your little bubble and expect everything to be okay. Baby, don't leave me! Baby, I need you! And now, the slow process of running to my love. I mean, I don't really like her that much as a person, but I, I love her, okay? We have strong, intimate connection, but not much else, okay? Not not really a big fan of her company, unless it's, uh, you know, intimate. Hang on, I'm, I'm coming over. Appreciate your patience. It's, it's really nice of you to just stand there like an idiot while I run over. And, oh, yeah, now she sees me. She's, she's, uh... Yeah, there's a Tuka. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. So, okay, I can hang out for a bit. Yeah, why not? It's not like you had anywhere to be or anything, right? So, I would just like to ask you about your career, but also, um, uh, let me tell you a joke about monkeys and ask you to stay the night, okay? Because we got a lot to do here. Let's see how she finds a joke about monkeys. Joke about monkeys? Yeah, is it gonna land? Is it gonna land? Oh, she hated the joke about monkeys. Who ate shots about monkeys? I once saw a monkey peeing in his own mouth on the internet, of course, not in real life. That would have been cool. But, yeah, uh, monkeys, man, they do weird shit. Well, I also saw a video of a monkey and he scratches his ass and then he sniffs his fingers and then he falls out of the tree, pretends he's passing out. That 
That is a monkey right there. Okay, where is the career friendly? Hmm, I'm gonna friendly ask you about your career. What do you do? Who are you? Oh, Jeremy has learned that Erica is unemployed. Ooh, okay. That is a plot twist right there, ladies and gentlemen. What are we gonna do about this woman? What are we gonna do about her? I wanna know where you live. I wanna go to your house. Oh, I don't even think she has a house, guys. She's one of those non-house-having people. I don't know, like, uh, other sims. Ask about, uh, another sim. Hey, uh, what, how do you feel about Tetsu Ishikawa? I used to know that guy before he horrifically died in some strange accident that had nothing to do with me or my toddler. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Tetsu. What? You haven't had the pleasure of meeting Tetsu? But you have- <laughs> Erika Ishikawa? Hold on. Tetsu Ishikawa. So apparently that means they are two completely unrelated people, guys, and that, uh, that just really destroys my whole worldview, okay? I thought they were related in some way, but they're not. It's just a game deciding to throw in a bunch of people that sound the same. I got two Tetsus, and I got two Ishikawas, and I'm willing to bet that neither of these people are related. Okay, great. Well, uh, cool. What, wait, what are you, what's going on here? Oh. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing a cheat caress? Do it. Ooh. Huh? There. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was at all. Okay, are you having are you having a good time with me? I'd really like to control you and learn a little bit more about you, woman. I want to know who your relationships are and things. Who the hell is Raven? Did I do something bad to Raven? Jeez, I don't I don't even know. I don't know what I did, guys. Okay, I do too many things in this series to know about all the people that I piss off. I'm going home. Okay, if you want to come with me, you can. That's totally cool. We can go to bed. We can do the whole. We can do the whole woohoo in a coffin. But what I wanted to do, guys, is I wanted to build a basement. Somebody asked me to do that. It's probably a good idea. Okay, it's just that I don't really have a whole lot of space for a basement. So we gotta we gotta figure this out. Oh, we can we can add the basement access from the bedroom. Yeah, do that. We can do a. Uh, uh, I don't know. This house probably looks ridiculous. Yeah, just a little bit. Okie dokie. Well, uh, we could put on a little roof here. We could do that, right? That's, that could happen. Let's move this out a couple. There goes the window, I don't give a shit. And now we should have enough, enough, um, you know, space for a staircase. So I'm also gonna grab this and I'm gonna, no, I don't want that, I want this. There, gotta put like, you know, walls on your house and stuff. It makes the house look better, adds to the value, okay. All right, so now guys, the house is, um, well, I mean, it was already bigger. I made it bigger in the last episode, but I changed it a little bit. I put on a roof, so now it looks like a real house again and not just some stupid half-finished piece of crap. So I wanted to put stairs in, guys, but in order to do that, I need to first put in, uh, I guess, like a room downstairs. This is really, like, it's really hard to do. Okay, it's really hard to do the whole basement situation. So we need to take this here, and we need to go down one. We need to build, like, here, I think. Let me, let me give that a try. Okay, can't even afford to build it. Jesus, is it more, is it more expensive to build things? Underground? I can't even make it a room. Come on, man. <laughs> Which one of my prized possessions am I gonna have to sell just to make myself a basement that I can make love in? Ah! Tell you what, I'll go to work for a few days, maybe make some money at work and then use the money to to home renovate, okay? I'm actually in line to get a promotion, guys. Um, you know, I wanna be the world's best vampire pro gamer. I don't know how many are out there, but I'm gonna be number one, okay? So. I need to play video games. Literally just have to do that for my job, so so let's just play The Sims forever. I mean, not actually play it forever, it's just the name of the game. Sorry about the- goodbye! Oh, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not- No, don't do that, don't do that, hello? Hi, Tetsu Ishikawa. Look, maybe if you were my girlfriend's brother, this could happen, but you're not. Uh, what the hell was that? Something, just, someone- Who? I just made a bunch of money. Let's go ahead and make this a big basement room because it's nice to have a nice big basement, okay? I can afford that much of a basement. Now I can't afford stairs, but who needs them, right? <laughs> Let's just go back to live mode. Tomorrow we'll go back to work and we'll make some more money. Okay, or maybe I'll just take another vacation day. I don't know, one of the two. Say, do you guys remember that uh, that toddler that kills people? Haven't seen him in a while. How you doing, buddy? You're hungry, you're not having any fun, and you pooped yourself. Okay, not a bad start to your day. It's only, it's only 40 after midnight, guys, so this is good. <laughs> How sweet, guys. Erica is sleeping on my couch. It looks like I don't even care about her at all, guys, but I do, just a little bit. You know, there's a bed right here. Uh, oh wait, no, I'm a toddler. Hang on a second. You know, there's a bed right here, because you, you could sleep in it if you want. Watch watch this, I'm gonna sleep in the bed. 
You ready for this? What, what, what are you doing? No, don't brass books. Go to bed. Oh my god. So, the stupid ass ghosts in my house decided to break three of my bathroom appliances, guys. I only have one place to take a dump. And you just made that zero. I can't take a shower, I can't wash my hands, and I can't take a dump. You guys are asking for trouble right now, okay? Don't make me release your spirit into the netherworld, because I will. Mourn. Can I ask him to leave? Is that an option? Can I just be like, hey, get, get out of here. I'm gonna make them both go away, all right? Is that cool? You ready for this? I'm gonna, oh, no, hey, you got in my mirror, asshole. Oh, jeez. Oh, apparently I'm doing something with the kid now. I'm putting him on the couch, because why not? God. Hi, Mr. Yoshida. Will you feed me? I'm really hungry and my grandfather doesn't care about me, so maybe go over there and get me some food. Can you pick me up? Can a ghost pick up a baby? Oh, oh, look, look. Grandpa of the Year is here, guys, to make sure that all my problems are solved. Thanks, Grandpa. You know what, guys? I have the Deadly Toddlers mod on, and I am just having way too much trouble getting, you know, adults to do shit for me. So maybe instead I'll just fill my own needs, okay? That's the thing that I can do, and I'm gonna do it. I click on myself, I fill my needs, get ready for this shit. Here it comes. Here it comes. What are you doing? Oh, put me down. I need to fill my needs, man. Oh, Jesus, where are we going? Thank you. And there it is. Mmm, I am feeling great now. Yeah, look at that. Everything is just fantastic, and I can focus my time on meaningful things like killing more people. People that can't actually die. Like, like, uh, like, like this. This raccoon over here. Adrian Smallwood the raccoon. I'm gonna set this raccoon on fire. How about that? Does that sound like a good idea? I think that's a great idea. Excuse me. I have a thing that I need to do now. Okay, I have to go to the park. There's a raccoon, and he was thinking about taking a dump, but I'm not gonna let him because I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Hey, raccoon! Wait, what? Wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wander? No, no, wander! You gotta set a raccoon on fire, dude! Uh, raccoon? Set on fire. Let's try this again, okay? You know, it seems to be quite difficult to set a raccoon on fire, guys. The raccoon left. Raccoon, how could you just leave me like that? You know, I, I don't like you very much. Ooh, what's this? What's that over here? Well, that sounds like a cool place. Oh, okay. Is that something that Jeremy can do? No, it's just a, it's just a prop. Fine. And the raccoon left, which means I now have to set somebody else on fire, guys. Hard times. Hard times. Hey, guys, look who it is. It's Anus himself in the flesh. I am going to set you on fire, buddy. I'm pretty sure you won't die because you're not on my lot, so... Oh, Jesus, don't do that anymore. Can you never do that again, please? At least incorporate some new dance moves, please, if you're gonna do that. Come on, what else you got? Sadness. That's the best dance move I got, too. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. I'm not gonna let you get away like that damn raccoon. <laughs> this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Oh! oh holy oh, shit! Oh, Jesus Christ, this kid. And now he's gonna stand up and clap while this guy's on fire! Wow. Okay. Okay. This is this is good. This is good. This is this is evil. Okay. Stabbing someone is evil because they die. Setting someone on fire. That's a whole new set of problems. Okay. So like this isn't going very well. And now people are coming over to watch. I'm thinking maybe a big uh, a big party of people on fire might be the best option here. I mean, who are these people? Nobody's. Okay. Here comes Sam number two. Here it comes. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! The other guy stopped being on fire! Well, hang on a second. Hang on a second. The set- yes, okay, so you go ahead. Go ahead and set this person on fire. No, don't. Don't watch the fire. Set the next person on fire, dude. You can't- you can't do this. Okay, there's two people on fire. Now we just gotta get the last person. Cancel all activities and just set the fires. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. Stop with the- oh! 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 Here he goes. Here he goes. Hey! Hey, you! Don't get away. Don't get away because you gotta, gotta get set on fire. I'm coming. I'm coming, Mr. Fire Kids. Coming over here. And. I ah, gotcha. All right. So now there are three people on fire. It's dance party. It's a fire dance party. This this dance party is total fire. Woo. Woo -woo. Well, uh, like, this was good. I'm glad you guys came out for this, but, um,. Obviously. I didn't think they could actually die, man! 
I thought they were gonna survive, but they didn't. Man, they're dying. This guy died. Holy shit. Holy shit, she's dying too. Oh my god. Oh my god, it was just a prank, bro. It was just a prank. Nobody was supposed to die. Oh. Oh. Somebody put this person out. I kinda like her, okay? She's the Mila Munch. She's got a great name. I'm gonna extinguish you, Mila. Here I come. Oh god, so many choices. So many, none of these choices. None of these choices matter. Oh, okay. I can't believe the kid is just walking around, showing off his fire abilities, and thinking about the people that he killed. He's just watching the Grim Reaper take souls. Wow. Hey, Grim, why did you skip this person over here? Are you planning on getting Yumiko while you're at it? Yeah, it's all good, guys. He just uh, he took a little detour. Get her. Go ahead. Take, get, get, take her out of here. There you go. Okay, so now we got three dead people over here in the... Um, in the park, can I can I take these back to my house? Can I have can I have these? You think think I have these? I'm, I want. Come on, come on. Shit. Okay. So they didn't die on my property, but they died. So now they're just they're just over here. They're part of the park now. Okay. They've become one with the park. Yeah. Dead people park. Great. Good stuff. I love it. All right. Listen up. This toddler is going to sleep. I would like you to go over here and fix all the shit that's broken by the stupid sons of bitches. You know who I'm talking about. Those, those ghosts. So go do that, okay? He's gonna go to bed, you're gonna go to work, you're gonna come home with more money, we're gonna make our little dungeon, and all will be well. Oh, Jesus, guys, he's all freaked out about the kid again. I can't control this. Dude, I, I, thank you, thank you. Now don't go, don't go back in, the oh, crap. No, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Fix it, fix it, you have work in 10 minutes, okay? God. Okay, go to work. Are you going to work? No, don't. Don't do this. Jeremy, Jeremy, don't do this. You can't, you can't do this. You have to go to work. Thank you. <sighs> I'm sending this kid to daycare for free because I can't afford to have a nanny. Plus, he'll probably end up dead anyway. It's so peaceful, man. Send the kid to daycare. You don't need to look at all the shit that's happening with your kid. And time goes really fast. So Jeremy's going to get home and he's going to be good to go. Oh, I really hope he doesn't like start eating people. Uh, must resist. Jerry must resist the urge to sink his fangs in the first neck he sees. Oh, okay. Well, hey, try not to do that while you're at work, all right? It's gonna be intimidating for the other pro gamers. I forgot that only vampires come around at night, guys, so this is kind of annoying. I have no one to drink from. I'm just going to, um, uh, I'm just gonna build my dungeon. Okay, so, the stairs costed me a lot of money. I only had 400 bucks left, obviously, because you know how things are. I'm gonna take this. Put it down in the uh, in the new dungeon area thing. All right now, we'll just put up some lights. Okay, we're gonna put gothic candles down here, guys. Does that not sound like a good idea? I can't afford very many of them, but it's okay. Here's here's three. Ta-da! <laughs> and now I'm just gonna go and hi hibernate, okay? Because it's been it's been a hell of a day. When it gets uh oh whoa 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 hey hey dude, are you a vampire? What the hell? What the hell? Hang on, hang on, hang on. What what wait? Why are you gone? I wanted to eat you. We're good. We're good. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. Jeremy's gonna go to bed. This is this is the end. Okay, we we burned some people. We started construction on our little vampire woohoo dungeon lair. All is well. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.